And uh, that's the Shinola on that one. All right. Now, I would like to address this arts funding issue. Now, this all reminds me of a humorous story of the traveling salesman. <clears throat> Let's say that the taxpayer is a farmer and the government is a salesman. Well, the farmer says, you can spend the night in my barn, but do me a favor, don't stick your willy into any of the three holes in the wall. <laughs> well, in, in this case, the salesman's willy represents the taxpayer's money, you understand? Well, the government, like the salesman, can't help himself. Sticks his willy in the first hole, it feels good. Sticks his willy in the second hole, it feels even better. Sticks his willy in the third hole, and it hurts like hell, and it won't let go. Well, in the morning, the farmer comes out, and he explains. Behind the first hole was my wife. Behind the second hole was my daughter. And behind the third hole was a milking machine that don't let go till it gets 50 gallons. <laughs> Gentlemen, I propose that this arts funding is like a milking machine, and unless we shut it down, it's going to rip our dicks right off. Tonight's show is brought to you by the new U.S. government, improving the arts by severely limiting them. Bob Odenkirk, welcome to Mr. Show. My co-host, David Cross, is uh, over there off stage. Hey. Okay, now, uh, David refuses to do the show, so... Bob, what? tell him. Tell him why I can't do it. Okay, as part of a new government program, certain artists have been assigned senators to monitor them. They made me wear this tracking collar. <laughs> if David steps on a stage, it produces a low-level electrical shock. It's not low-level. It really hurts. Well, you know, look, obviously the show isn't that important to you. So instead, I will be doing my a cappella version of the rock opera Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, look at me. Tommy, over all right, here. All right, all right, I'll do it. Thing, I'll do you? it, Bob. Bob, oh, right. he's going to do it. Come on, come on. You can do it, David. Come on, it doesn't hurt that much. Don't you want it? You gotta want it. All right. Okay, let's start with the baseball sketch. All right. There you go. Okay, well, it's a beautiful day here at the old ballpark. Uh, here comes a vendor. <laughs> Peanut the cracker next. Jesus, Bob, it hurts. Uh, let's see, I'll have some. Uh... David! David, it's me, Senator Tankerville! Senator, please, the collar, please, please. Oh, oh, hold it, let me get that for you. Uh, there, that should take care of it. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Now, you know, uh, you're supposed to tell me before you get off stage. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. I thought you were out of town. I, I thought you were going to well, be... Well, I am. I'm very busy. I'm with all you artists, I'm busier than a high-priced whore at an electronics convention. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm in Valdosta, Georgia, for the annual folk festival in Jelly Off. I'm supposed to be judging <laughs> art, etc. Who are you? What do you want about? Come on. Well, I'm old Swerdlow, and this is the Ozark Mountain tradition, the song... I'll decide what it's called, fool. Just make with the art. Well, all righty. Let's get Limberlegs on up there. Oh, Limberlegs went walking down to Old Miller's Creek. And when he saw that big old cow, he jumped back in the sink. Go, oh, Limberlegs. Oh, all right, now Limberlegs. stop that, old oh, stop it. Now, I'm very sorry you had to see this, folks. Now, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Limberlegs ain't wearing no clothes. I find myself to be aroused and titillated by all this. Well, Senator, this is a tradition as old as a Georgia sunset. Shut up! Shut up, old. David, you see what I have to contend with? I got a naked puppet doing a lewd, lascivious fandango on the lap of a full-grown man. I got women over here, a dipping candles, fella over there, 
He's got a butter churn. It's like a pioneer pawn shop in here. Close it down, boys. Close them down. Senator, you're getting a little right. <laughs> no, well, that's my liver lake. What? David, huh? tell me about your show. Uh, well, sir, it's called uh, Parade yeah. for America. It's a comedy show. <laughs> it's a... Oh, a comedy. And it's jokes, huh? Yep, just jokes. Talk about, uh, you know, America and its greatness. And, you know, I wish you could see it. <laughs> I wish you could... Oh, I wish I could see it, too, David. Yeah. I yeah. wish I could be everywhere that people are doing art. So that I could see it before the public sees it, and I could uh, keep them from being titillated or aroused or in any way confused by the counterculture. I wish, <laughs> but I'm just one senator. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. And the senator wished so hard that he grew magical wings. I think he's asleep. Look at him. <laughs> Precious old man. You know, these books for seniors really do the trick. <laughs> Colorful drawings, big printing, and all their favorite characters. Senator Tankerbell, the magical right-wing senator. Zim and Zam, the pro golfers in outer space. Lively, <laughs> the little Bible and his undersea adventure. They're all here in this wonderful series of books. <laughs> Order now. Now available in easy-to-swallow caplets. You're watching the What to Think Network.